Hi everybody. The purpose of this tutorial or the workshop is how to get the hybrid mesh in the ICM CFD. Now question arises why we need the hybrid mesh? Why we just don't go for the tetra mesh or just hexa mesh? The problem is that we can create a tetra mesh very easily in any complex geometry but this will <coughs> make the quality very low and secondly the accuracy will be the lower one so you can combine the both words tetra and hexa to get the benefits of the both approaches for example <coughs> you can have the higher accuracy in the <coughs> in the boundary layer also you can have the hexa mesh in the region where geometry is simple but you can have the hexa mesh where geometry is complex and uh, the flow is important so you can in the vicinity of that geometry you can get the hexa mesh and in the other region where flow is not important you can have the tetra mesh you can just fill it with the tetra mesh which is well adaptive of the geometry second case is over here yes next example where we have the tetra mesh in the vicinity of football which is uh, very complex to mesh with the help of the only hexa mesh in the far field we have the hexa mesh there it's uh, <coughs> going on Again, here is a second example, a third example of having the tetra mesh in the vicinity of body and the hexa mesh in the far field. Like uh, you are simulating some some body in the wind tunnel, so you can fill the wind tunnel with the help of the tetra mesh, uh, sorry hexa mesh, and you can have the tetra mesh with the prism layers on the body. And the benefit of this approach, either way inside tetra and outside hexa or outside tetra and inside hexa is that you can control the both meshes separately for example in this case <coughs> I can have the I can replace a geometry like uh, maybe I have to solve this case on the some angle of attack I can just tilt the geometry just keeping the outside boundary at the same level and just mesh it uh, with, a, with a very quick uh, method like uh, tetra mesh and prism I can just get it over here and then just combine the both meshes and I can maybe I can up this case within a half an hour and that's the main benefit that you are getting the high quality resolution and high quality results with a minimum efforts here's the next example in the compress area we have the tetra mesh and in the region which is simple to mesh we have the hexa mesh it's another example it's uh, from the point wise here's another example of hybrid mesh okay so for our case we have basically uh, two bodies so one is uh, the inner body which is you can see with the green curves and second is uh, with hexa mesh I call this one as the outer, outer geometry and if you want to see them separately 
which are over here and this is the outer case this is a box around the this tetra mesh over here and here is the final mesh with us and this is after merging the both meshes and if you want to see the mesh through the geometry we can have the cut plane you can display the volumes and you can clearly see what is happening here in the closed region of the body we have the prism layers here is the tetra mesh and outside we have the <coughs> very high quality